Tune Friday again, and today I have June Apple. As I said, this one's a good one for practicing different bowings. If I played straight eighth notes the whole time, it would sound more like a violin player. It would sound more like a violinist playing an etude. I'll give you a demonstration. hear how that loses the punch of, of the fiddle style. So here are some bowing patterns and I recommend highly that you practice all the way through with each bowing pattern no matter how awkward it is because those awkward ones are the ones you're going to learn the most doing. So the first one be the Nashville Shuffle where you go slur to separate, slur to separate. So down bow, up, down, up, bow, down, up. When I am thinking about bowings, I'm really just thinking about the slurs and letting the separate notes play themselves. So an example of that would be So I had to change the slur there that's in the sheet music, but that's okay. So you have to adjust. Notice the accents that I'm doing. That's a good thing to practice right there, just on an open string. How do I get the accent? I am leaning my bow into the string for that one note and going fast. Now the lean comes from not pinching or squeezing and not by pressing this finger down, but more of a turning of your arm, making the bow go into the string. You can see it dipping into the string and the motion is more of a turning my arm like this. It's slight and it looks like I'm doing this, but I'm really not, like I'm turning a doorknob. All right. So that is the first and probably simplest bow stroke. Once you get that down, and I recommend you do that for a couple of days before you try to tackle another one. The other one is where you play a down bow on the third note of a group of three and then do three up bows. So. that's probably the nicest bowing for this tune, but all the other bowings work well too. You can get started however you want. You can do a bunch of slurs going up and then go down on the third note of a group of four. Or you can just do separates until you get there. And then the three, three up bows down, three up bows down. All right. A variation on that is do every other one with separate bows. So that would be separate and then the slurs. Also do it across the bar line. So there I am doing the second to the last note of the measured down bow and slurring three and then just doing separates until I get again to that second to the last note of the measure. So I'll do that again. Second to last note, down bow, slur three. Down, slur three. 
slur three. Slur three. So you can hear how that gets that nice dancey feeling. One more bow stroke for you. This is one I like a lot. It's three and three slurred and then two separates. So, got the pick up and then three, three, separate. So, Once you have all of those kind of as part of your toolbox, you can start kind of mixing and matching them. And that'll happen naturally because you'll feel where this bowing works for this group of notes and this works works for this other group of notes. This works for this other group of notes. So, for example, this is I'm going to mix and match the bowings a little bit. Hear how that gives it all that power, that drive. Those bowings give it the dance, the danceability. All right.